So why do we need health system science? And why do students of today need to learn health system science as a co-equal third pillar? And I think the answer comes if you just imagine the basic patient-doctor relationship. You have a patient and you have a doctor and the two of them together. And for the longest time, really for the last hundred years, we've, we've really been thinking about them as if they live in a little bubble. And, and they try to work together and they try to solve problems together. But they don't live in a bubble. These doctors are parts of teams, interprofessional teams, and these teams integrate with other teams and they go on and they build clinics and they build hospitals and it's very, very complex. And on the other side, these patients, they're not just patients, they're members of families. They have jobs, they go to school, they live in communities and neighborhoods, they deal with the justice system, they deal with the social services systems. And unless we really understand how this patient and this doctor integrate with all these systems around them, then we'll never really be able to address the things that are going on between them in the way that they need to be addressed. And that's what health system science is about, and that's what the school is trying to do. We're, we're part of a movement that really has been going on for the last 10 or 20 years all over the country to try to figure out all of these connections and try to figure out how to make all of these systems work so that that basic patient-doctor connection can be as strong and as powerful as possible. Thank you.